Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 3 of Infamous Second Selling. I will be playing the story mode of course and you shall follow along. Now it's just a matter of time of just seeing exactly where Dustin's gonna go with his new, I guess, choices. Let's see how it works out. Anyways, I'll let the game do the talking as usual and I'll see you soon. Reg, you should see this, man. The DUP's completely trashed this city. All the people are walking hunched over and nervous looking. Now, yeah, well, that's how martial law works. Control the city and the people by breaking them both down first. Yeah, well, occupying armies suck. You may want to keep that to yourself for now. Reg, those uh, core relays we saw on the way here must have been cracked by all that destruction. This one's sealed up pretty tight. I doubt the DUP is going to let you borrow their keys. You're probably going to have to break them open. Oh, look, I just happen to have some mad new breaking stills. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Look out below! Not bad, huh? Hey, you want to see it again? Man, how many DUP guys are in this city? Yeah, well, luckily you have the advantage in numbers, my man. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, because one person can move around faster, lighter, quieter. Plus, it'll make them underestimate you. Not gonna know what hit them. You wanna do me a favor and explain that to them, so maybe they'll just give up? Why, spoil the surprise when it happens. <laughs> Good point. They got checkpoints and cameras on just about every corner. That's the benefit of having home field advantage. Except this isn't their home field. Try telling them that.
Okay, so that way's not an option. It's better work. It freaking worked! I gotta tell you, man, I think at the rate I'm going with the powers thing, I'm like one, maybe two away from storming her castle. Okay, why don't we slow down there, Hotshot? I mean, she just destroyed an entire concrete and steel bridge, you remember? Right, so you're thinking one more's not gonna do it. That's what I'm thinking. Reg, man, you should see this place. It's completely deserted, no ferries going in or out, or... Same thing at the airport and train station. Now that they got the bridge out, the DUP's got this town sealed tight. It's not gonna be easy, is it? It's too bad I didn't think to mention that to you over and over during the last ten hours. You think the DUP does this to every town they get called to? Apparently, that's what they say. Why do people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, most folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Nah, that can't be it. Yeah, you're done. Suck on this! Reggie, I've used up all the core relays you sent, man. Come on, any more! No, man, that's all you get. This bioterrorist thing has you all worked up. You, you need to find some place to lay low and chill out for a while. What is it with you and laying low? I'm fine. I'm great. Give me more. No. Now, I'm working on a possible lead with a detective on the SPD, but we're not moving forward until I'm convinced your head's on straight. Okay, okay, I'll lay low. Whatever the hell that means. Nelson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle.
man, a plan, and an aerosol can. Okay, Reg, I'm here, and you were right. The needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and what looks like a bad aluminum siding job. You're gonna have to get to the top of the needle. It's a nice day. I'll just climb to the top. Climb. No, no, no. Don't be crazy. Right, hey, man, it's not crazy to be awesome. Hey, Reg, hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what-if question here, but what would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduits, say, oh, I don't know, Hank, and not others, like one of these dupe troopers? Oh, my God, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg. I'm just looking for an answer. Dupes had those things locked down. Well, I suppose that hypothetically, theoretically, it could be you can only drain powers from a conduit who has them naturally. A prime conduit like Hank, or hopefully Augustine. I mean, the DUP guys got all their weaker powers from Augustine, so maybe they can't pass them on, even to you. So you're saying we have to keep going. Read you loud and clear. Don't push it. And next time, don't lie to me, okay? Trust your brother a little more than that, will you? Man, this stuff's even uglier from the inside. Looking forward to taking this stuff down. Hi, Betty. I'm at the Space Needle. Oh, I'll, I'll try back later then. Bring me a postcard. <laughs> okay, if the gift shop's open. Bye, Betty. Bye-bye, kid. Oh, okay, not a good time to plummet. Well, you a sec. This is more like it. I'm on the uh, observation deck. Don't let your guard down. Well, onward and upward. Keep going. You're almost to the top. Time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Well, I haven't seen you before. Reg, man, they got a small army up here. Good. They're in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delson. Do you see any way to take down the communication? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the antennas in place.
say we keep this at sea level? was awesome! Yeah, I don't think this is gonna cut it. Nothing bad ever came from getting new powers. is going to be epic! See? That wasn't so bad. Yeah, isn't that better? away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Reg. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the Space Needle, man! You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle's gonna take time. We just got here. You know what they say, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who, who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. You see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. What the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. What's 
the symbol supposed to mean? I'm not sure. The banner man got away before the Duke reinforcements got here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to conclude for episode 3 for now. It's been a good story so far. Looks like Delta's going to be on his way to making himself a good name. All over Seattle, and maybe even importantly, coming from Reg, of course. Well, everyone, I'll see you until episode 4. Take care, and good night.